So in the previous class we have seen uh, examples 10.1 and 10.2. Now let us solve in text questions on page number 171. So let us solve in text questions on page number 171. I will read the question. Find the focal length of a convex mirror whose radius of curvature is 32 centimeters. Okay, so radius of curvature of a convex mirror is 32 centimeters. Since it is convex, I will take plus 32. If it was concave, I would have taken minus. So focal length is half of radius of curvature. So 32 upon 2. So it will be plus 16 centimeters. This is the answer for the first in-text question on page number 171. Now I will start reading the second question and the second question goes like this. A concave mirror produces three times magnified or enlarged real image of an object placed at 10 centimeters in front of it. Where is the image located? Okay, so that we will see. Let us solve it. I will read the question once again. A concave mirror produces three times magnified or enlarged real image of an object placed at 10 centimeters in front of it. Where is the image located? So this we will see. We will solve this. Okay. So U object distance. Object distance u is equal to minus how many centimeters? 10 centimeters. And magnification m. Is equal to. They are given three times. So m is three, and we know m is equal to h dash upon h is equal to minus 3 by u ok so 3 is equal to I take it as minus 3 v by u so what you get is 3 into u that is cross multiplied equal to minus 3 or v is equal to minus 3 into u so v is equal to minus 3 into u is how much? u is minus 10. So it becomes 30 centimeters. But it is a what you can say real image. Since it is a real image, real image is formed to the left of the mirror. So it will be minus 30 centimeters. Real images are formed to the left of the mirror and not only that what we uh, means what mistake I did here was m is equal to minus 3 because for real images magnification is negative 3 times the or enlarged image so m is equal to minus 3 so it becomes minus 3 is equal to so it becomes here minus so here it will be both sides minus will go so this minus will not be there so you get this minus 30 ok so image is formed to the left of the mirror or in front of the mirror so image is formed to the left of the mirror or in front of the mirror how many centimeters? 30 centimeters this is the answer for the second in text question on page number 171 I will see, I will dictate once again, I will repeat once again. Object distance u is minus 10 centimeters. Since it is a real image, magnification m is equal to minus 3 because they are given that the image is 3 times magnified and large. So m is, and the image is real. Since it is real, I have taken it as negative. So m is equal to, you know, h dash upon h is equal to minus 3 by u. So m is minus 3 is equal to minus v by u 
minus 3 is equal to minus 3 both sides minus minus sign can be cancelled so v is equal to 3u and v is equal to 3 into minus 10 that is minus 30 so image is formed at a distance of 30 centimeters in front of the mirror I will write that statement here ok image is formed at 30 centimeters ok to the left of the mirror or in front of the mirror ok real images are formed in front of the mirror virtual images are formed behind the mirror ok so real images are formed in front of the mirror and virtual images are formed behind the mirror so this is the answer for the second question in text question on page number 171 let us now start solving the exercises on page number 185 so exercises on page number 185 I will start reading the second question not the first because I have not yet taught you the lens so I will start reading the second question the image formed by a concave mirror is observed to be virtual erect and larger than the object where should be the position of the object I will read the options between the principal focus and center of curvature second option is at the center of curvature third option beyond the center of curvature fourth option between the pole of the mirror and its principal focus the answer is between the pole of the mirror and its principal focus that is the correct answer so D option is correct ok between the pole of the mirror ok between the pole of the mirror and its principal focus or just focus ok so this is the answer now I will read the third question ok third question I will read now the third question is where should an object be placed in front of a convex lens no not third it is of the lens so lens we have not done so third question we will not solve later on we will see now I will see the fourth question ok now fourth question goes like this a spherical mirror and a thin spherical lens have each a focal length of minus 15 centimeters the mirror and the lens are likely to be the answer is both concave both convex the mirror is convex no the answer is both concave because the focal length is minus 15 the answer is both concave write this answer we will see about the lens later on ok so it is both are concave now I will read the fifth question and the fifth question is like this and the fifth question is on page number ok fifth question is on page number 186 ok so fifth question I will read no matter how far you stand from a mirror your image appears erect the mirror is likely to be only plane only concave only convex either plane or convex the answer is either plane or convex because erect images are virtual and virtual images are produced by plane mirror as well as convex mirror so the answer is D for the fifth question on page number 186 ok now 
I will read the eighth question. I will read the eighth question. Name the type of mirror used in the following situations. So, type of mirror used in the following situations. A is headlights of a car. In headlights of a vehicle, we use concave mirror. Okay, to focus light, to get a parallel beam of light. And B is side or rear view mirror of vehicle. In a rear view mirror, we use a convex mirror to get a wider field of view. And the third one is solar furnace. In a solar furnace, concave mirror is used. So this answer is written on the board. You all can take it down. Okay. So now I will read the 12th question on page number 186. An object is placed at a distance of 10 centimeters from a convex mirror of focal length 15 centimeters. Find the position and nature of the image. I will repeat the question. An object is placed at a distance of 10 centimeters from a convex mirror of focal length 15 centimeters. Find the position and nature of the image. So object distance is 10 centimeters and object distance u is minus 10 centimeters because all the object distances are negative since all the objects are kept to the left of the mirror. Okay. And focal length of the convex mirror is given as 15 centimeters. Since it is a convex mirror, I have taken focal length is equal to plus 15. We have to find the position and nature of the image. So image distance, we need to find V is equal to question mark. Okay. So we know mirror formula. I will write the mirror formula here. you get 1 by 6. So see once again this is the mirror formula. U is minus 10, F is 15. When you transfer 1 upon minus 10 to the other side, it becomes plus 1 upon plus 10. Okay. So or minus becomes plus here. And LCM of 15 and 10 is what? 30. 15 twos are 30 so multiply just by 2. 10 3s are 30, so multiply this by 3. 1 2s are 2, 1 3s are 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 by 30 you can cancel. 5 1s are 5 6s are. So you get 1 upon V is equal to 1 upon 6. I will continue here. So 1 upon V is equal to 1 upon 6. So V is equal to what? 6 upon 1 or 6. So V is equal to 6 centimeters. Means to the right of the what you can say mirror to the right of the mirror means the image is virtual and erect okay so the image is virtual comma erect and form at a distance of formed at a distance of 6 cm behind the mirror because virtual images are formed behind the mirror how do we decide it is behind the mirror because we have got image distance plus 6 cm if it is plus 6 cm 
it is behind the mirror or to the right of the mirror. If it is minus 6 centimeters, it would be in front of the mirror to the left of the mirror. And remember one thing, virtual images are found behind the mirror. So if V is positive, means the image is virtual. If V is negative, means the image is real. These things you need to remember. So please take down all these notes in your fair book and we will, what you can say, meet in the next class. Okay.